I need to kill off some coral in my tank, so watch me in this video as I kill some encrusting Montipora and some Discosoma mushrooms. Stay tuned. So I've been putting off killing these mushrooms for too long, and what finally tipped me over to do it today is I found one of the mushrooms detached and on the other side of my tank. Thankfully, it's not attached to anything, so I can just suck it out, but that kind of pushed me to say, all right, I gotta get these things out of here before they spread. Because once they spread, I can't take every rock out. Thankfully, the rock that they're on is not supporting any other rock, so I can take that out, but I guess now's the time. See there's mushrooms here, here, and kind of back here. I'm gonna work quick and, hey look at that, that's a nice looking lepto. Anyways, so I got the blue light on. I don't know how well it comes up on camera, but that should make my life easier. So some parts of it grew on the coralline and I'm finding those are really easy just to kind of like peel off the rock. But then I need to make sure I remember where, so then I can go back and sanitize that part of the rock. And others, it's just easier to use a scraper, or use a bone cutter to kind of scrape it off. Man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this in one go, but at least it'll make it more manageable. Get most of it off, and then as it kind of inevitably comes back in spots, I can nuke it with Ephiptasia. But for now, there's just so much, and it was kind of under some of these acros that I just have to take it out and try my best. All right, kids, so the lesson of today is Unless you really like Discosoma mushrooms, don't put them in your tank. Because they will grow like crazy and they will spread. So even if you put them on a rock island in the middle of the sand, you will get them elsewhere. So I got most of it off. You can see a lot of fresh rock. I took that stag off for now just to clean up around here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is there's still some tissue in some of these crevices that I couldn't get out. I scraped the rock as best I could up here. So I think like in this valley and in here and in some places where there was some heavy mushroom infestation, I'm either going to use super glue and kind of encapsulate it or use this Ephiptasia I've had a while and just kind of coat it and let it dry for a minute and then put it back in the tank. So there, nice clean surfaces. No traces. Oh shit, I do see one. Right there. So I'm going to glue the shit out of that. Otherwise, I don't see many more. So it's been almost two months since I killed the red mushrooms off of this rock and I've been looking and looking and I have not seen one pop up. So I think my method of scrape and cover was very effective. So this Mr. Pac-Man Acropora has gone crazy with the last few months. So a couple months ago it was starting to STN at the base and on a few select branches. And I think it was the flow in this corner wasn't very good. So I changed the flow up and the STN stopped. And since that time, the colony has just exploded. So it used to be a couple branches and now it's like this giant brick. Um, the shape isn't very attractive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of reset this colony to make it look more attractive. Um, but also I need to get behind it because below, right around here, I have some rogue orange mushrooms that somehow jumped over to that rock. So my plan is this rock and this rock are attached. I'm a little nervous that it might break as I pull it out, 
when I upgraded the tank a year ago, it held together surprisingly, but if it breaks now, I have a lot of coral on there that might suffer. I might try that carefully. Uh, it might be a lot easier and quicker than trying to work around everything. All right, so as I expected, this rock was not budging. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to remove the Mr. Pac-Man colony, and I'm gonna chop it up. Then I'm gonna kill the mushrooms, cover them with epoxy, and then hopefully get the reset Mr. Pac-Man back on the rock without falling down. And then I'm gonna have to take this off, kill these monies, and then reset this and put it back on. So this, might take a little longer than I thought. see down there the orange mushrooms that I need to take care of. So I'm going to see if I can chop off some tissue, put some caulk paste, and then encase it in epoxy putty. It seemed to work over here. It was a couple months ago and I don't see any more of the orange mushrooms that I killed off. So I think that was a successful operation. Before I chop it up, I want to document how big this thing has gotten. And I've cut off some major branches on this thing over the last year so I'm sure it would be a lot bigger and bushier. And there's a three inch tile next to it. You can see how big this thing has gotten. So hopefully I can chop it up and get a good shape out of it and put it back in this empty space. pretty successful. Just kind of put some caulk paste around where I could and then just encapsulate the whole thing with epoxy putty and super glue. And then now I need to grab this beast up. So if I can this up. Breaking up a thousand pieces. This thing is pretty huge. Um, so I'm gonna lob off a bunch of these big bushy branches to kind of make it more finger-like rather than just this giant brick of polyps. So I'm gonna do that off camera. So it's the day after on this side and where my flashlight is, I don't know if it's picking up. There's a little bit of organic tissue next to that white epoxy. I'm gonna assume that that's a little bit of tissue left from one of the mushrooms I cut off. So I'm gonna cover that with some super glue uh, but overall, it looks pretty good. And then resetting this Mr. Pac-Man, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's got a nicer shape, and I can kind of see coral in the back a little better. So I'm very happy, although I'm sure this thing's gonna take off again. So now it's time to remove the goldenrod and acropora. They don't encrust, so it'll be really easy just to kind of peel it off. But you can see down here, uh, the Umanti has just grown up the branches of the Anacopora. So I'm gonna have to trim the bottom. And then I think I'm going to trim out some of these clustered branches here, kind of open it up a little bit. I'm gonna glue that back on a bigger base rock instead of just having all of it on one branch. 
it's gonna topple over at some point. And then I'm going to use Recordia Florida to kind of cover the outer rim of the Monty and then kind of speckle them in between. And I'm going to use the strong sting of the mushrooms to more or less kill off this Monty for me or at least contain it into an area. All right, so I'm gonna remove the goldenrod and Acropora so I can cut it back and deal with the encrusting monopora. The anacropora doesn't really encrust on the bottom, so it should be able to just come right off the base. So the reset on the goldenrod is done. I thinned out the top pretty well, and I think it looks a lot nicer now. Well, once the cut and broken pieces heal, it'll look a lot nicer. Glued a bunch of recordia, which are still all retracted um, over the where the Monty was, and I pretty much just use the epoxy to cover all of the monopora. So one and done. Don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm guessing it's going to take a little while for this to color up and not be super bright in the tank. Hopefully sooner than later, because I know a few weeks I got a special guest coming to record my tank. I think overall I'm pretty happy. And this whole side is now mushroom and montipora free. Thanks for tuning in and see you in the next video.